What you're about to see now is a grisly story of one man's crime and punishment. This pursuit began as a robbery in a suburb of Denver, Colorado. The teller in the bank recognized this man, Philip Hutchinson. As soon as the bank robber left, the teller called the police and the chase was on. All officers, 4593, a white over brown blazer. A news helicopter watched as the thief raced through suburban streets trying to elude the police. Adams County, it's reportedly Adam William Tom 271. Attempts to stop him turned into a deadly game of chicken. One officer couldn't get out of the way in time. As the helicopter pilot watched in horror, the suspect hit the officer, killing him instantly. Hutchinson never slowed down. Yeah, we got an officer down here. And we need an ambulance. But moments later, he lost control of his vehicle coming out of a turn and smashed into a tree. Taking the money and the gun, he ran through empty yards looking for another vehicle, trying to stay ahead of the police. Because of radio difficulty, the helicopter pilot was unable to tell anyone exactly where the suspect was. In a nearby parking lot, the bank robber spotted a young woman in a car with her baby. He tried to force his way into her car. Infuriated when the woman would not stop, he pulled out the gun and began to fire. When he first came out and opened my door, the thing I was thinking, he's going to be in my car, where are we going to go, what are we going to do, what's going to happen, is he going to kill me? And that's whenever I've never seen a man with a gun put his hand on my child, and that's whenever I realized, uh, uh, -uh and I took off. I thought he shot my baby for some reason, because the door is open, I hear a gunshot, and I thought for sure he had, he had shot him. I just, I thought I was dead. Within moments, he had found another hostage, forcing a 73-year-old man to drive him out of town. Boy, I said, this is it, John. I don't think you'll see tomorrow. He told me that I was a dead man if I didn't hurry and start that car. He told the man he would kill him if he made any attempt to signal the police. The police finally come to where the helicopter is hovering, but the suspect hides on the floor of the truck, and all the police see is an old man driving slowly down the street. While I'm climbing up, I bring the power in the helicopter to start climbing up, and the police cars drive past him. And Jim and I start screaming, what? And that's when I decided to, I needed to do something else. I had what's called a window of opportunity, which was maybe 10 seconds. I had to do it now, or it was history. The pilot realized that if the truck got to the main road, this man would probably kill the hostage. At that point, he dropped the helicopter in front of the fleeing truck. Then that helicopter is on the ground, right in front of me. I can't move nowhere. And he told me, ram it. Ram it. And that blade was going around and everything. And I said, oh my God, we're going to get cut in pieces or something's going to happen to us. Then pretty soon, bing, 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 bing. Oh, God, my. The helicopter was able to block the truck while the police came up from behind. The suspect pointed his gun at the police and then tried one final time to kill the hostage. But in the midst of all this shooting, one officer was able to pull the elderly man out of the truck, thus saving his life. When the officer decides to pursue, I think the thought process is the same as if he or she is going to shoot or not to shoot and the end result could be as serious, if not more so, because this, this is the same as a 2,000 pound bullet.